Hi, it's Elisa, and I don't know if you've heard, but there's a new Connect composition. It's called Connect Composition 2.0, and I'm going to show you my favorite favorite features in under five minutes. Okay, so these are the things that I want to talk about. Now there are tons, but I want to talk about the new user interface, the updated diagnostic and learning plan, exercises and quizzes for chapters, personalized URLs for classes, lecture capture, and the Success Academy. So I'm going to go ahead and pull up the uh, connect so I'm live now and you can see that I have three classes that I'm teaching in let's go ahead and take a look at the English 102 sorry I'm talking really fast but I have five minutes all right so as you can see it's got a nice clean look you can see that I've set up assignments for students they can go in and check for the modules and see what they have to do I've set up reading assignments and practice assignments for exercises and even a quiz so when they when they click on the ebook chapters that they need to read it'll bring them to the, or it'll take them to the uh, ebook. And the ebook that they see is the uh, McGraw Hill Handbook. It's the complete McGraw Hill Handbook, so they'll get all the chapters. And the pages look exactly the way they do in the actual um, handbook. So they have all of these tools up here that they can highlight and make notes and save and even print if they want to kill a couple trees. And it's really easy for them to go through. They can also select different areas of the textbook based on this drop-down menu as well. So basically it just looks different. It looks prettier if you ask me. All right, let's talk about the next item, which is the diagnostic and personalized learning plans. I really like this. So when the students start their diagnostic, they get this um, information screen. And this lady over here, it's not me, but she talks to them. And once she's done talking to them, it prompts them to actually click to take the diagnostic. And what's really cool about this is that it not only gives them questions, but it also asks whether or not they know the answer, if they think they know it, if they're unsure, and if they have no idea. And based on their responses and their response to the question, it will develop a learning plan for them. Then, once they have their learning plan, this keeps track of it. This shows the report, it shows their progress. This up here will tell them how much time has passed uh, since the instructor assigned it and when it's due and then how much they have progressed in their learning plan. Um, I haven't really progressed very much, but of course I'm not the student. Anyway, these are the areas that they are learning and then they can see what questions they have trouble with, what the missed questions were. They actually get to see what they did wrong, which is definitely a good change. Before, they couldn't see that. So here's just a quick look at some of the areas that uh, the, mod the diagnostic covers. You can see that it covers uh, you know, some of the most of the things that we want to cover in English 101, if not 091, but pronoun spelling, we got punctuating correctly, all the good important stuff. Okay, moving on. Woo, let's talk about connect assignments. There's lots of different assignments that you can create in here. Now, I haven't looked at all of them, but the one I like is creating new um, assignments from the question bank. So think about it. You ask students to read a chapter in a book, and then you want to see if they've actually read it and learned anything. So here's an example. I can choose, let's say, I only have sample chapters in this because I'm piloting, but chapter 10. Let's say I want to give them something to do in chapter 10. So I click on that, and then I can choose all of these different questions from that chapter to ask them to see if they understood. I can choose questions by type, activity type, blooms, yay, and learning objectives. So let's say I wanted them to be able to uh, tell me if they understood inductive and deductive reasoning. I can go ahead and click that so they have to watch a video, and then I give them a couple of multiple choice questions. Very sweet. Good way of testing that they are actually reading the chapter and learning what you wanted them to learn. Okay, one other new thing is that you can have personalized URLs. Remember how last year when students were went to sign up, they went to a generic site and they kind of got lost. They bought the wrong product and so forth. But here, look, I can make my own URL. So look at there. There's my personalized URL with my section number, my little picture. So they know they're exactly in the right spot and they click register now. Once they register, they're automatically added into your course. Nice. Okay, I have 30 seconds left to tell you about my last one, Tegrity Lecture Capture. Actually, I left another one off. Okay, here's Tegrity. There's me lecturing, or you can just put a picture of yourself. And then over here is your screen capture of what you are teaching. This is a boring one, because all I'm doing is just showing them Canvas. So that's it, Tegrity Screen Capture or Lecture Capture built in to connect. I hope you will give it a try.